So there's a hot new book box subscription that everybody's talking about. I'm sure you've heard of it. It's called The Broken Binding. The question is, is this new fantasy only book box subscription really all it's hyped up to be? So in today's video, we're gonna talk about The Broken Binding subscription and specifically, we're gonna be looking at the September, October, and November box. So if you don't know who The Broken Binding are, they are an independent bookshop in the UK. They specialize in science fiction and fantasy books, and they pride themselves in having one of the largest collections of signs, science fiction, and fantasy books that you can buy right on their website. So as you can imagine, in the SFF world, they are a big deal, and as soon as they launched, they basically skyrocketed, and they've been growing and growing more and more ever since. Barely two years into their store opening, they were able to launch a brand new book subscription that focuses on fantasy books. Every one of their subscription books is a hardback, signed and numbered edition of a book of their choice. They kind of have an on-off system going where they do three weeks of a trilogy or series, and then they do a one-off book. So basically what that means is you get three sets of trilogies and three individual fantasy books. Before I go into any more details though, I need to pause and talk to y'all about something really fast. If you wanna learn more about book subscriptions so that you have a better understanding of what you're putting your money into for the future, please, 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 please hit that subscribe button. It would mean a great deal. You would be my knight in shining armor. I am here! Coming <gasps> through the door like a hero! But enough of that, let's get going and talking about this book subscription. So the subscription process is fairly simple. All you gotta do is go to their website, thebrokenbinding.com, and click on the Dragon Horde Collection. Now, the weird thing about this is if you don't know to go to the Dragon Horde Collection, you are not going to find the subscription link on this page. And the reason for this is because their Dragon Horde Collection is actually kind of on a separate website. So you have to go to the Dragon Horde website and not the Broken Binding website. So once you're on this page, you're gonna see that one of these main boxes is actually the link to go read the details about the subscription. And once you're there, you can join their waitlist. So this has the mother of all waitlists. When I tried to get on this subscription, I actually had to uh, wait several months before I finally reached out and found out that out of 2,400 people on this wait list, I was number 1,800 and they told me that they only add 100 new people to the subscription every month. Now that does not sound great. I know it does not sound great and you're probably like, that sounds impossible. That's a complete waste of time. I'm not even going to subscribe. Well, my theory is if enough of us subscribe, they're going to have to up the amount of books they produce. So all in all, this waitlist right now is really intense, but I have high hopes for 2023 that they are going to open the floodgates and let a lot of people through that have not been before. Quick plug for Fanfi Addict. If you go to the Fanfi Addict website right now, you're gonna be able to find a discount for all the books on the regular Broken Binding website, including tons of signed editions of your favorite fantasy books. So right now, this subscription costs 30 pounds and 15 pounds for shipping. Now, if you're in the US like me, you're probably wondering what the heck is, how much is a pound? Well, all in all, I spent a total of $58 per subscription box for this project. Hold it. I know what you're thinking. Neil, that is so much money. And you're right, it is a lot of money. These alone are almost $200. And this is just three months. But hold on, hold on, we're getting to the quality and talk about if it's actually worth that much. If you've been keeping up with The Broken Binding, I know you know what these are. This particular three month set was the Lacanaceous Trilogy. These, these right here. These books are written by James Islington and they are an epic fantasy trilogy that has raving reviews all over online. So book one is the shadow of what was lost. So as you can see, The Broken Binding didn't veer away from the traditional cover of this book. The naked hardcover is one of the most gorgeous covers I have ever seen, with the quote on the back and the beautiful artwork on the front, all of which, by the way, is foiled. It's just hard not to look at this and be like, wow, dang. Once you open the book, you're gonna notice that on the inside, the end pages have this little design on them. You get the bright orange that matches the sprayed edge. You get a fun design with swords and a shield. And then of course, when you open the book, you're gonna find that it's signed and numbered. One thing I do love about The Broken Binding is that they make sure that you get the same numbered edition of each of the books in that series. So I got number 445 in all three of these. As for the rest of the inside, the book has a map and it's pretty standard formatting. The one thing I wish that Broken Binding did a little better with is did more illustrations. I think they're gonna do better with this because they got an amazing response on their polls they did on Twitter and the winner was illustrations. People just love seeing the characters brought to life through art. That would have definitely helped these books be a lot more special and just a lot more interesting overall. 
So the elephant in the room is pretty obvious at this point. Are these three books actually worth the $58 that I paid for them? Let's think about it. So the traditional published hardcover you can buy right now online for $28 for books two and three. Weirdly enough, the first book hardcovers are upwards of $120. I'm not sure why, I don't know if they just did a limited run with those, but you're looking at paying, you know, let's just say $30 a book. You have the sprayed edges. How much are sprayed edges? I have no idea. I don't know if a machine can do them in the printing process or if you have to like manually go and fold each page, but let's just say that's $10. Well, you have the author's signature and a numbered copy. I mean, I would say that's at least worth $10 just by itself. Well, that leaves $8. Now, where does the other $8 go? Well, that's easy enough to guess, shipping. Which means that the actual cost of these significantly less than the 45 pounds that we pay for each individual book. So all in all, I'd say that these books are worth the price that they're asking, especially if you're a fan of the types of books that you've seen them published before, because you're not gonna find editions of these books anywhere else, which is absolutely crazy, because that means you're getting books that no one else has any sort of special edition copy of. So if I was gonna rate this book box subscription on a 10 scale, I'd probably put this at an eight. But I will say that there are other subscriptions that you can spend just the same amount of money for that you get a lot more items and a special edition book that's very similar to these. So is it as good as those? I don't know, I'll let you decide that. But in my opinion, this subscription is worth being on if you can get on it. That's another reason it gets an eight and not a 10. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have a subscription or a special edition book that you think I should review, please put it in the comments because I'd love to put it on my list and hopefully review it for you one day. Thanks so much. Bye.